guys, this nerd dude went to... Anyway, how did he get here? Now anyway, hey everybody, it's Crazy Craft, and we're going to be doing a comparison video of uh, Golems Plus Plus versus Golems Plus. Now first we're going to start with Golems Plus Plus. Now, in my opinion, well, we'll, we'll get to that later. Now, first of all, you start off with some meat and a wooden sword and this nice little village. With, it's pretty good. The village expansion, not Golems Plus Plus. But, uh, <clears throat> and here's, you get a lot of Golems, like, <laughs> they give you, like, every little detail, like, uh, dirt Golem, grass Golem, honeycomb Golem, gold Golem, beehive Golem. I mean, they give you all sorts of them, which is pretty cool. Here we go. By the way, I'm going to be doing these reviews or comparisons, like, Golems Plus Plus, Golems Plus Plus like every month or something won't be very often but so let's just say these these are the best golems bedrock diamond and they're actually the same like even gold emerald some of these are the same what's it's kind of disappointing but that's okay but the problem is they're see it takes a lot of work to make them first of all like four diamond blocks and then a pumpkin Basically way tougher than the iron golem. Well the problem, well let's not go where all these other golems are. We're gonna go into a plain field. We can do all sorts of stuff. <laughs> and speaking of which, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video. We don't have one. <laughs> And then we don't have one. We uh. And then we don't have one. It means we don't have to sponsor a video. So I'd buy it right now. It's only like <laughs> three dollars. And then we don't have one. You can just forget the sponsor of the video. And uh, I guess that's it because it's pretty simple. It's just a thing of words, so you don't have to pay for words. But, here we go. So, the bedrock golem looks just cooler than the diamond golem, in my opinion. And he's huge. So he, so, he looks cooler than the iron golem. And he also just takes more. Well, the, the bedrock golem isn't possible to make. Let's do the diamond. So, he looks cooler. Also, takes more work. Now, we're going to see him fight three husks. So he died in seven hits. So the iron golem is better, and, he, and the diamond golem can't even knock him up. So, and just look, if, if you hit him, he does three damage. Wow. Well, he does a little more than three damage, but. <coughs> Gosh, he's wimpier than I thought. Oh my gosh, I'm the one making the video, and I don't even know how powerful he is. Wow. So, the Diamond Golem, <laughs> obviously, should not be called the Diamond Golem, because the Iron Golem is better. What's the deal here? Was there a new update in Minecraft? Iron is better than Diamond? Diamond was a lot more sunny, just saying. And then we have these other Golems, like the Grass Golem, which, again... He, he is weaker, like one, two, three hits. And that's reasonable for a grass golem because he is pretty easy to make. The problem really is that the best golems are so weak. Like, oh, the diamond golem. Yes, I finally got the diamond golem. It took so much work watching the freaky zombies. Like if I'm making a video of this and I'm like, oh, look, oh, and then he dies. It's good for making funny videos, I'll give you that much. I, I will give you that much. It is good for making funny videos like this one. So... Mm. 
Yeah, that, that's Golems Plus Plus. Now we're going to move on to Golems Plus. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I should probably share. See, first of all, they have these cool Iron Golem stats. This is pretty cool. But also, they've got an arena. Let's uh, use the door. <laughs> you don't use the top of it. You use one doors. But only I'm a thief. Oh, I'm trying to steal their stuff. <laughs> but, ah, uh, there's nothing in it. Alright, so, in here we have some cheering golems. Oh, can you give me that popcorn, please? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh so yummy. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but anyway, they have a cool arena where there is a golem. See, first of all, the one thing that they did do right on this golems plus plus is they have these cool waves that you have to do. Whoa, defeat. Like this dirt golems. Overall, pretty easy, but I do think it's kind of cool how you get like stuff like protection to ooh, 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 powerful or bane of arthropods, whatever it's called. The thing that does more damage to spiders, not the um, fighting golems, not insects. And um, I think they're insects anyway. I mean, they're like silverfish, spiders. Ugh, don't like spiders either. So basically, you'll get to the point where. It gets a little tougher as you go. Like right now, it's gonna be easy because wave three, I'm a noob. But now there's sand golems, so there's just a bunch of different golems. But oh yeah, and it even shows you how many golems. Like there's four. No wait. Uh, one second, I'm going to anything. Ah, there it is. There's five golems. So once you kill one, it'll show you how many golems they have. Um, they're hard to defeat, and they do do a decent bit of damage, they just don't have much health. And as you can see, I'm getting better gear as we go, like, Stone Sword Trumpeters 2, yeah! And just more enchanted armor, like this. Fire protection. Oh, I guess I should, uh, point this out too. There's like TNT golems, actually, which is pretty cool. It's just, only problem is that he doesn't blow up. I mean, see... If you do this, it won't blow up. If you put him on fire, he won't blow up either. So, unless there's a way to blow him up that I don't know of, that I don't know of, he seems kind of useless if you ask me. But, uh, anyway, I think that's all. Just to get a cool village, golems that are super weak, golem statues, and an arena, which is pretty cool. And now we'll be going to golems plus. So we're in the nether now. We should probably be in the, uh, world so let's get the bedrock oh yeah that's right you use obsidian <laughs> crying obsidian that's right okay now it's all making sense just kidding crying obsidian can't make a portal which is kind of interesting well maybe it's because the obsidian is too sad to make a portal <laughs> now we're going into an interesting dimension whoa this looks weird Grass, mountains, mm, never seen that before. Used to the nether. Alright, so first of all, I guess I should point this out. You don't just get golems, which I think is pretty cool. You get other stuff too, like, uh, you get bosses, like, the wither. First, well, they give you the wither boss. Now, by the way, the wither boss. The creepers seem the same as the wither boss. I don't know if there is a difference, but if there is, apparently I haven't seen it. But, uh, and if you buy this, you can, uh, see it too. Or if you already got it and you just want to see what I'm saying. But, first of all, why they did the wither, just so you know, is that you don't have to build it. You can just, you know, summon the wither. Oh no, he's gonna destroy the world! At least we got commands. Now. Then we have, a, so the skeleton boss is really the only unique one. Now, you can put golems against them, too. They'll probably die, but still. It's just like, how long can they last? But uh, the wither golem is interesting because he shoots arrows and these wither skulls. So that's pretty cool, if you ask me. And he looks kind of cool. Looks like he's old, but either way, you've got to kill so, but that's all the uh, withers. The creeper again, same as the wither. Don't really get it. But the skeleton boss is cool. And they even give you snow golems. Like, oh yeah, I forgot. See, you got 
the boring snow golem. Boo! Yeah, boo! Oh, oh wait, snow golem. Boo! 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 But now we have carpet golems, which is kind of interesting. Because if he moves, move, he'll make carpet. And you can use a subtle, well, I forgot, carpet is snow, it's obsidian, just kidding. But you can just uh, use your normal hand to get the carpet that he leaves and can kind of attack to throw little snowballs. Still not very powerful. And uh, I think now we're going to get to the golems. I don't think there's anything else. But still, I think it's pretty cool that they have like every type of carpet golem, every color. So now we will be moving on to the golems. Alright, so the wooden golem. Oh, wait, I forgot about one thing. See, I can't do it right now because I traveled in that nether portal. Maybe if I just kill myself. First of all, I need to keep my inventory because I don't want to have to do all this over again. Because that would be annoying. We're going to go on survival and... No, 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 no. I forgot. I was close to the arena. Just kidding. Now, uh, that's right. So you spawn in this... In a sense, in my opinion, this is a better village, by the way. I made all these golems. You... Uh, you get all these, this big village, so it's like a village expansion like the other one. And man, I still didn't make a lot of golems back in the day. That's right. Now I'm remembering. Oh, yeah. So, uh, by the way, if you make too many of these golems, it will kind of lag because, I mean, I can see why. <laughs> There are a lot of golems if you ask me. Uh, but uh, either way, you don't spawn. It doesn't start with all these golems, but you do start with a cool village, which is, I think is pretty cool. And then we're going to be, so first of all, I just got to say this is kind of ridiculous because the best golem in golems plus plus can't even beat two zombies. The worst golem, well, this isn't the worst golem, but he's close. He's the wooden golem. He's better than the best golem in Golems Plus Plus. He slaughtered those zombies. So, the Diamond Golem, now they all have the same power, just so you know. Like, like, damage power. But here's when it gets interesting, because not only is it already better than Golems Plus, but Plus Plus, I guess I shouldn't say Plus, Plus Plus. It's that also, you get cool Golems like Cool golems with special abilities, like the glass golem, he can literally only take one hit. So he's kind of like a joke. But then, that's the only one with the weak ability. But then we have the magma golem. So normally, an iron golem would get hurt. He'd be like, huh, where's the lava? Uh, 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 uh. Wait, I want fire. No, 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 like and subscribe to help me. No, 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 no. Oh, thanks for liking and subscribing. Man, I thought I was. No, there's more fun. No, 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 no. Oh, well, that could have caused some problems, but good thing is that it didn't. Now, the magma golem, so normally if we just even do one of their golems, like a uh, lapis golem, it will get hurt from lava. Yeah, see, just like I said. <laughs> but the magma golem, on the other hand, he won't get hurt. He's just like, mm, lava, okay. Now the thing is, he doesn't even get hurt by water, but that's not the only abilities. I'll, I'll go through every ability that they have. And if, you can just skip it if you're like, ooh, I want to be a surprise, but... If you kill the glass golem too... Oh yeah, I didn't tell you. There are... I might be missing somebody, but one, two, three, four, five, six. You get six golems with special abilities, again, if you count the glass golem. And the bedrock golem, you can't make, so... Five or four, depending on how you look at it. So, the slime golem, as you've seen in my pre previous videos, like if slime golems existed, but if you haven't seen it, this will be interesting, because... First of all, he's already got... He's decent. And I like the way he bounces, too. That's kind of cool. So, you're like... How... He's dead. But then you're like, oh, he he uh, splits. That's what makes him so good. He splits. I like that a lot. That he uh, splits. And he just keeps splitting. So in a sense, he's better than the diamond golem. By the way, I should also point this out. Kind of like the golem is plus plus. 
some of them are the same, like, the diamond golem is the same as the emerald and redstone, so there's no reason to get emerald. And it's also, and there's definitely no reason to get netherite, because that's even tougher. Well, say that emeralds are super rare. But either way, I think those are all the the same. And the endstone golem, he's a little different, because at least he's fast, but still. Oh yeah, that's right. Redstone and emerald are super slow. Diamond and netherite are medium. And endstone is just fast. And then like the lapis, coal, gold. You, you gotta get the idea. Some of them are the same. Some of them are, which is, which I, I guess they can't make a different one of them for every single one. Health difference. But either way, now we're going to, so, yeah, the slime golem can just split into two, which is pretty cool. Now, some of the other ones that I haven't shown in my videos are like the ice golem. He's cool because, first of all, two hits, not three. He can only handle, like, a few hits from his husk. One, two, especially if he does that, three, four, what a rip-off, he's already dead, just from looking, oh, what's down here? But the cool part about the ice golem is that, you know, icebergs are kind of hard to find if you're on land, because then you're like, oh, I gotta go to the ice again. No, you don't, because the ice golem, if you want to go, like, if you have, like, a little pond, you can just get this ice golem and just make sure there aren't any drowns in the water. Oh, gosh, there's a drown right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but uh, he will uh, give ice. So if you have silk touch, you can just mine ice if you need it. And uh, But he's not great for fighting because, as you can see, not a lot of health. But still, he's pretty cool that he can make ice. And now we'll be going to the next golem. And by the way, it takes ice to make sponge. They say Spun Golem. I call him the Spun Golem. He's pretty cool because he just absorbs water. See all this water? Because he just absorbs water. I mean, this is pretty dang awesome if you ask me. I mean, look at all this water. There's just a huge hole in the ground. Gotta patch that up. I do not get paid enough to do this. <laughs> but I'd say it's pretty cool that he can just get rid of water. So let's just say if you're playing something like... If you want to see an Iron Golem fight a Zoglin, like... Gosh, this water's so annoying. You can just say, hmm, I'll just get this sponge going out and get rid of this water. That way, if they do go in, at least they won't have to, well, that's a little bit of a problem. You still have some water. But if you want to absorb, if you don't want much water in an area, you just get him out and he'll absorb water. I mean, look at this. This used to be a big old pond. Now it's just no water. <laughs> Never heard of a no water. <laughs> Then we have the TNT Golem. Personally, I really like this one because with use flint and steel, already this is pretty cool how he just has flames, but then, ooh. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. oh you saw it before me. Yeah, it's, it's a huge explode. Sponge Golem, you're going to have to get this water up. Don't really want that right there. Thank you. Okay, so there's a bunch. Oh, look. It even made some lava, like some of these high stone things above like lava above the surface or on the surface but he just makes a huge explosion it oh he does damage he does damage let's just say there's a bunch of ravagers and you're like oh no ravagers you just get this uh, uh i do not have a tnt going because i just dropped him that's unfortunate Oh, I seriously like, uh, by the way, the sponge golem isn't great as a fighter. He's decent as a fighter, but not great. But let's just say there's a bunch of ravagers, and they're like, ooh, this TNT golem can help, because the ravagers are like, huh, what's he going to do, just do some weak damage? Boom! See, they're already almost dead. Like, one other right sword hit, dead. One other right sword hit. That's pretty insane, if you ask me. I mean, that just killed a bunch of Ravagers, and we know how powerful they are. They've got some health, and that's an understatement. So the TNT Golem is really cool. Now, again, the Glass Golem, one hit. Bedrock Golem, literally the opposite of the Glass Golem. He's invincible. Let's just say uh, Ravagers like, Whoa, look at that Golem. We need to kill him. Can't do no damage, so I'm sorry, Bedrock Golem. I mean, Ravagers, but he's just not going to be able to hurt him too bad. But they're still trying. I I'll give them this much. They have confidence. 
So those are all the golems with special abilities. And uh, that's basically the whole thing. So uh, this is 25 minutes long. I'll probably cut some of it out, of course, but hopefully. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you realize that Golems Plus Plus is not as good as Golems Plus. Because the, now you can still buy it. Because I'll admit, even I play Golems Plus Plus just to see the Golems fight. <laughs> they stink. <laughs> so it is kind of fun. But still, they're not great. I mean... The gums in there are pretty big. Oh, that's right. I wanted to go here because it's not only the village, but you also get a cool arena that, let's just say, if you can handle cheating, basically, they give you a chest where you can just get, like, the bosses and the gums, all the gums for free, basically. Uh, wait, maybe not all of them because they're not the bedrock golem. And maybe a few other ones that they're, they don't have, but still. Yeah, even so, gums. Bosses warning bosses are very hard to fight. No kidding. They are hard and they will blow up this arena. But I'd say this arena is pretty cool. So, I guess that's all. I'd say Golems Plus Plus is... I'd, I'd say Golems Plus is really good. I'd say it's worth the money. Like, I don't even know how much it costs. It's like $5 or something. Pretty cheap for how many Golems you get and how much enjoyment you get. Because I got this back in my... Like, almost one year ago and I still play it I mean which makes sense because you're probably still gonna play something even if it is one year ago I mean you go back to stuff all the time but this is a worthy purchase Gomes plus plus is not but it, in my opinion now you might enjoy it a lot I hope you do well though have a great day we'll see you on the next one bye